have some great news for you if you're a Jamaican. You can now sell on Amazon. This means that you can sign up on Amazon directly to sell your products using your Jamaican credentials. Before, if you wanted to sell on Amazon, you'd have to do so by partnering with someone in the US or sell wholesale to someone in the United States. Logistically, merchants have two options. Where items will be shipped to Amazon Fulfillment Center and don't worry, they will tell you exactly where to send them. Once the product is in Amazon Fulfillment Center, the products will be available for sale online. They handle the fulfillment and they collect all the money for you. They pretty much do everything and pay you every two weeks. So the other option is Merchant Fulfillment, where the seller has to get the product to the customer within a specific time period. So here's a quick overview of the steps you need to complete to get started with selling on Amazon. To create your seller account, you need to log on to sellercentral.amazon.com. I'll leave the link in the description for you. You will need to complete a simple five-step process to get your seller account. This includes business information, seller information, billing, store and a verification step. Now the first step is to complete your business information. You'll be required to provide a company name and registration number. You're also going to need to provide a registered business address. For this, you can use your home address. You'll also need to provide a phone number for verification. They will take your one-time PIN for you to continue. You'll also need to provide the full name of the primary contact person. This information may vary depending on the business type you have selected. For example, you could have selected an individual or a business account, so you provide the respective information for the type you have selected. So the second step will be asking for a seller's information. You will ask to provide personal information such as country of citizenship and birth, your date of birth, proof of identity, residential address, and a mobile phone number. You will also be asked to confirm whether the seller is a beneficial owner of the business or a legal representative. Now for the billing section, you will be required to input the details of an internationally chargeable credit card or visa debit card. So at this point, you will be immediately charged a sign up fee of $39.99 US dollar monthly plus seller's fees. These fees are dependent on your registration type and the products you wish to sell. So it will be good to have an idea of what you want to sell before signing up. It's also important to note that the second monthly payment and any other fees thereafter only becomes payable when the active lists are launched and maintained in your Amazon store. So you will be charged your first month fee upfront. So make sure you're ready to sell when you sign up. But one great thing about this is that it will force you to figure out what you want to sell if you just go up and sign up for the account. So to complete the store information, you'll be asked questions such as the universal product code or UPC for all your products. This is like the barcode which is used to identify a product. Are you the manufacturer or brand owner of any products you wish to sell on Amazon? They will also ask you, do you own a registered trademark of the branded products you want to sell on Amazon? Now the final step is the verification step. In this step, you will be required to provide proof of identity. You can use a national ID, passport or driver's license. You will also be asked to upload a copy of a bank statement or a credit card statement. The choice is yours. But make sure you have another proof of address like a utility bill that is in your name to avoid form of delays just in the event that when you register, they ask you to provide additional identification documents. And it's good to make sure all the addresses you provide are consistent. So like your utility bill, your credit card bill and your ID, that would be really great. And for the utility bill, they may or may not ask for it. Once you have submitted your application, you receive a confirmation email thanking you for setting up and directing you to your seller central account to execute activation. For completing the activation, you will need to complete your tax information and there is a section that says deposit information. So this is where you will provide an account information that you will use to receive payments from proceeds from your sales. And remember, Amazon will deduct their fees before they pay you. You don't pay Amazon. <laughs> Just saying. There is one little challenge though. There is no option for a local bank account at this time. But don't worry, here are two solutions for you. You can open a US bank account with Wise or Payoneer. With these two accounts, you can always link them to Amazon. And from these accounts, 
Once you withdraw your payments to these accounts, you can then transfer them to your local bank. I have used both of them but my personal preference is WISE because of its lower fees and money transfer service. To get started with WISE, you'll need to make an initial deposit of $20. Note, this is not a fee, but it is required in order for you to get your account details. This $20 that you'll need to deposit will be in your account for you. On the other hand, Payoneer, you don't need to do an initial deposit, but Payoneer has a higher fee for deposit and withdrawal. For WISE, you can receive direct deposits for free. I will make the links available for you in the description for you to sign up. It would be good if you try creating both accounts and then see which one you really fall in love with. For more information on WISE, you can check out my video on how to open a US account online and how to withdraw from PayPal to your Jamaican bank account. It's also important to note that the fulfillment option by a merchant is not currently available to Jamaican sellers as yet. So what will happen is that you will be automatically enrolled in the FBA option, the fulfill by Amazon. So you pretty much have to ship the items to Amazon Warehouse and they manage it for you. This is really a great option for those who are trying to make money online to capitalize on now. If you don't have a product and you are in the process of researching a product, a great tool that you can use with product research is Amazon Scout or AMZ Scout. For example, AMZ Scout has complex and advanced algorithms which help calculate the number of sales revenue, commission feed, number of reviews, competition level and many other useful indicators for every single product you will see. This allows you to figure out which niche and which specific product within that niche has a great profit margin, high on demand and low competition. You can sign up for a free trial using the link in the description below.